Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is Codations. In today's video, we're gonna be diving into a brand new game that just officially launched in CBT, man. If you guys already know, that is closed beta testing. It is officially launched and that game is gonna be Awaken Chaos Era, man. That's right, I've been super excited and pumped up to get my grimy little hands um, on this bad boy as soon as it dropped into closed beta. I've been watching it for quite some time over in the official Discord for the game. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said in the intro to this video, this game is officially going to be launching in closed beta status as of last night, all right? Now, the next thing we need to mention when it comes to the closed beta, and that's gonna be they are only accepting 5,000 brand new players or, you know, new accounts. And once they hit 5,000, you can no longer participate in the closed beta. And so with that being said, I've got two links provided down below for you guys to take advantage of right now. I mean, that's gonna be one of them being the APK version that any player in any region can download on their Android device or emulator um, and play the game. Um, and then we also have the official Google Play Store that you can download from um, there as well for specific regions. Now, I'm not exactly sure what region can and cannot participate, um, but nevertheless, I would highly recommend if you're unsure, go ahead and download the APK because it will work for you, all right? Now, with all that being said, the last thing we need to mention before we hop into some official gameplay, and that's gonna be the social media accounts, all right? So the official developers have a official Discord um, that they have provided already. I got a, a link to that down below as well. They've got over a thousand people over there that are just dying to get into the game, probably already in the game playing it. Um, they also have a lot of channels set up for feedback and everything. The developers are really um, active and listening to the community, um, communicating with everybody, talking with everybody, and not only that, um, even changing some things already, and it's been less than 24 hours that the beta has officially been out. All right, so just keep that in mind. They're really, really active, and that's a really good sign when it comes to a closed beta because they're definitely trying to make, make changes now because I think the launch is really, Really, really soon or at least close um, in the future. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into some actual gameplay. So as you can see currently here on screen, we are in the tavern or what you would call like your main home screen or your UI. We've got a couple different options here, but the first one, as we always do with our Let's Play video, is we're going to jump into some actual combat, all right? Because I want to show you guys um, just how cool the animations are, the graphics, um, and just pretty much how the game is played. Um, so there is going to be a stamina-driven system. Um, it's going to be these little bread icon down here. Each um, section or stage that you try to participate in is going to cost a certain amount of those. They do have a multi-battle section as well, and they even have some additional settings, not just, you know, running it on auto over and over again. You actually can adjust some of this stuff depending on what you want to do. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and click on the battle button and dive in here. Now, this is going to be just some of the um, awesome um, heroes that you can collect. There's going to be some guys that I have just loaded in here because um, I have been able to collect them and got lucky enough to collect some of them. You can see some of these um, additional ones here. We'll go ahead and cycle some of these out just so you can see um, some of the different classes and the character design, man. Really, really cool. I think that they've outdone themselves when it comes to the overall character design. Um, so let's go ahead and load in here. And then the other thing that we're gonna show you guys when we go jump in here is some really cool character animations, all right? So they're not too long, which is really nice. They're nice, short, and sweet, but they look super cool. Like here's one right here um, from our Blade Dancer. Again, um, very unique. Each hero has their own. Um, none of them look exactly the same. Um, hopefully we can get a couple additional ultimates off here. Um, actually, what I could do is I could probably take this off of auto really quick so I can um, specifically select those ultimates for you. Um, the game does have a auto play as you just saw here and then they also have a manual play. Um, now when it comes down um, to manual play it's a lot more strategic and not to mention when it comes to a lot of other you know uh, turn-based RPG games manual play you're going to get a lot more benefits than that auto play. Auto play is very easy um, to turn on when they're in the early stages in the game just when you're you know auto farming the levels um, but once it starts really getting tough and harder when it comes to boss stages and stuff it's really going to come down to utilizing manual play to make sure you are utilizing your skills at the right moment but uh like i said you can see each individual character um has three different skills that they can utilize and then they also even sometimes have passive abilities that are not going to be able to be used so we're going to go ahead and utilize this guy's ultimate ability so you can see another really cool animation here he's going to do a um a boulder throw and then kind of stun the the enemy there if he didn't kill him of course um and then we're going to go ahead and utilize this guy so you can see his animation as well he kind of shows um like an army running Again, very, very cool system. I really do think that they've done a really good job. Now, this you can see this one's got sort of um, like a, hexa a hexagon style here or a, um, let's see what right here. So this is going to be your regular basic attack. And then as you can see, this is going to be a passive. Um, so like I said, we can't select the passive because obviously it's passive. But anyways, you get the point pretty much of how combat is ran. 
We're gonna go ahead and tick on auto. There are multiple waves and different stages, as you would expect. Down here in the bottom, there is also a turn base. You can kind of see what unit is gonna go next, um, whether it's you or the enemy, you can see one after one. And then you can also see when that round specifically ends and the next round starts, just to make sure that you are staying underneath a certain amount of rounds for specific stages to get additional bonus rewards, um, etc. The other thing you can see here at the end of this stage, again, super easy for us to do. Each one of our heroes do gain experience. And then, but one thing that I really, really like about this game that I haven't seen in other games, and that's going to be your experience is not wasted when your characters are at, at max level. So take a look at here. All four of our characters are at max level, but we still gain the experience. It says any excess hero experience will be converted into experience jelly, um, aka this green cube stuff. Now you can then utilize that experience later on to manually level up any character of your choice. So I really, really like that aspect of the game. And then the Arcure um, player level as well also has um, experience that you gain from completing those chapters. There's going to be obviously some loot that you can get. You can get, you know, weapons and armor and stuff from the overall world exploration mode or the adventure mode. And then you can also get things like glyphs and um, just a whole bunch of other um, additional resources. Um, you can see here on the little loading screen gear. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. But anyways, that's going to be pretty much it. You go from node to node to node on the individual chapters. If we click the back button here, you can see all of the individual chapters that are currently in the game, which is quite a bit. Actually, if you see here, we can just scroll around, see all the individual ones. You've got, uh, what, 21 chapters, I believe, currently. If we zoom out, you can see all of the individual areas, um, and then you can zoom all the way in to get a more close-up view of each individual chapter. But yeah, like I said, um, there's a, definitely a lot of content to cover when it comes to that aspect of it. They've got a dungeon or a bunch of different dungeons here that we can take advantage of. Each one of these dungeons are going to be covering a specific type of resource. Um, so you can see like armor and accessories. You've got elemental crystals. Elemental crystals will cover when we look at some heroes. I'll talk about what those are specifically. And then you've got like um, the endless tower mode or the tower of void. You got a bounty hunt, which is going to give you some diamonds, which is going to be that premium in game currency. And then last but not least, you got something like the endless trial, which again, very, very unique gameplay. I do like this. I'm not going to do any of these, but you can see exactly what happens here. Your goal obviously is to make it across the board um, to get to the final chest over here and complete and beat the boss. And then each individual um, hexagon, I guess is what you would want to call it, that you step on and land on will offer some sort of, you know, either item or, you know, you can heal your monsters or you can revive somebody at some of these altars, you know, the mystery ones you don't know until you get there. It could be a chest with loot in it. Um, or you can see some of these here with some opponents where you actually have to fight and beat those guys. So again, very unique system. That's just a quick overview of what the endless trial is. But like I said, the, the game is not short on content, which is really, really nice, especially for a CBT. I don't, can't tell you how many CBTs that I've do dove in and play and there's just lackluster on content or they only give you access to one specific thing so i really really like that um that they have added a ton of content here and last but not least when it comes to overall things that you can do they do have a pvp side of things you can load in here climb up the ranks obviously it's pretty straightforward the next thing up they've got obviously your daily missions your challenges your weekly stuff um all of the usual things when it comes to idle games but the next thing i want to dive into really quick i want to show you some of the characters and how awesome the hero animations like overall design and everything look so we're going to take a look at Hector here, he is going to be that of the legendary status, so obviously, I um, mean, he's going to look really sweet. But uh, check this guy out here. I mean, he just 100% fits overall a Viking, like a like just a, a crazy cool Viking. He's got two axes. He's got a massive Viking horn on his back. Just looks really, really cool. Um, the next thing up you can see is we can see all of his individual skills. We can also see his traits. Each individual character um, will also have their individual traits. And then you can also see all their base stats. All right. Now, on the right hand side, we've got some additional things. There is going to be a promotion option. Um, and there's also going to be a level up option. All right. So promotion is going to increase the number of stars stars that is on that character and will then also increase the max level that you can progress that character to and then obviously upgrading is just going to do what I was talking about before utilizing those green jellies um, to level up a character so let me just go to a character that I have not leveled up to the max just to show you what I mean so you can see it takes 16 jellies for instance to level her up from five to level six all right so to give you guys an example that's what that does um, but the next thing up that I want to show you is going to be the individual gear tab now there's gear here you're gonna be able to farm gear out of like I said that gear dungeon also from the adventure mode as well you can get individual gear there are gear sets so you can see some of um, what sets they belong to and how many items are in that set and then what that specific set bonus is again very very cool and then you can see that the gear also has different quality tiers um, the next up that we got here is going to be glyphs glyphs are going to add like specific passive bonus or you know stat bonuses to your individual characters um, and then once you complete a specific 
a um, whole entire set of glyphs. So just by coming here and, you know, giving, for instance, inscribing this one, and then you do that all the way around the circle. Once you do, you will actually unlock the next tier, which I can go ahead and show you on Hector here. So you can see he's now a junior soldier. It's going to be green instead of that white. We were able to farm out all of those. Once we farm out all of these, it will then upgrade to level two. Um, the next up that I want to show you is going to be the abilities and how you level up each one of those abilities. You're going to be able to farm some of those crystals again out of some of those stages in the dungeons. Um, and then once you farm those crystals, then you will come here, utilize those crystals, and it is randomly um, chosen on which skill gets upgraded. All right. So again, really, really cool system. It could hurt you a little bit um, if you, uh, you know, suck at RNG and you know it could level up the skill that you don't want to um, until it's fully maxed before it actually levels up another skill but anyways um, a really cool system I do like the RNG aspect of it me personally and then last but not least you've got the overall bio um, like you're basically your, your lore that a lot of people like to go ahead and read a little bit more backstory on each individual character um, last but not least when it comes to the characters there are a ascend mode um, to it and that's going to allow you to summon multiple copies um, of a specific character and then get these additional passive buffs as you can see here, you've got it plus 15% attack, plus 25% max damage, um, speed, defense, you know, all of the fun stuff. You could get in here and do that just by summing additional copies from each individual unit. Um, now, the next thing I, I want to show you really quick is just going to show you some of the really cool character artwork and design. I think they've done a really good job um, with this. And this is going to be one of the reasons why I really, really um, am enjoying my time playing this game. Again, it just launched last night in CBT, so keep that in mind. Um, those are going to be some fodder items. We'll talk about those in another video. Uh, but you can see, I mean, overall, they've just really outdone themselves when it comes to the overall design of the characters. Like I said, 100% super attractive. I really do like um, how they're all different, how you really get a feel for each individual character. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're really, really sweet. Not only that, there's different factions. You can see like the, the rage or fire. You've got, you know, the earth, the water, you know, the light, the dark units, um, things like that. And then each individual one, there are a sort of elemental buff or debuff, depending on which one you are going up against. So it just adds a lot of more. Um, st strategy when it comes to building a team comp. Like I said, that's going to be pretty much it when it comes to the individual heroes. They do have some shop stuff going on. They've got a guild system as well. We're not going to dive too deep into that. Today's video, I just wanted to dive in, give you kind of like a um, overview. And the last thing I wanted to do with you guys before we hop out of here always is going to be some summons, baby. You come on, RNG Jesus. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Don't make me look like a fool on the video, baby. Let's get a legendary. All right, like I said, the animation is super cool. I'm excited about the game. I've been following it for quite some time in their official Discord, just basically checking out everything. All right, we got an epic. Very nice. All right, Rickard. We've got an epic here. We've got two epics back to back. We got Borden, which is again um, another epic. Very nice. Three epics in the same ten pool. Let's go. That's gonna be a duplicate of the one I already currently have. Four epics. What is this madness? Come on, let's go. Very nice. Look at that. We got four epics in the exact same 10 pull. I like it. All right, we got another thousand here. Let's do it just for the video. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go, RNG. Jesus. Give me some love. Give me some love. All right, we got to back out of here. Do another 10 pull. Come on, legendary. Don't make me look bad. Like I said, I've been following the game for quite some time in the official Discord. I've been just pumped up and excited for all the leaks, how active the developers are, man. They have just done a phenomenal job of being engaged with the community. So like I said, definitely get in here, check out the game. We did get lucky um, when it comes to this one, but th that's okay because we can definitely utilize these guys as fodder to level up um, our additional units that we already are currently focusing on building um, in our team. So again, you can check out the index. You can claim our additional rewards for summoning new characters but i think that's going to be pretty much it for me ladies and gentlemen like i said those links will be provided down below for you guys to take advantage of the apk to download the game they also like i said have in specific regions you can download it from the google play store um in my official discord with that goes with my channel if you're not there um i don't know why you're not because we absolutely could utilize you and um if you wanted to check out any mobile games that i'm checking out the link down below will be to that di um, discord as well so with that being said please be sure to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can notify every time we drop a video and I will see you guys in the next one.